When we're graphing radical functions, family, and we have an A like in this problem, I'm going to tell you to always prioritize using a table to find your values. And whatever value you plug into X, when you simplify what's under the radical, you want it to be a perfect square. So the first X that I plug into here is negative 2, because once we plug it in, we're going to get 0 for the Y. So our first ordered pair is going to be negative 2, 0. Then if I use negative 1 for my next x, when we add that to 2, we have just positive 1, and that's a perfect square. It's just 1. When we multiply by negative 2, we're going to get negative 2. So the next point or ordered pair is negative 1, 2. Now the next x value I could use would be when x is positive 2, because when we add, we're going to get 4. Simplify to get 2 as the perfect square. When we multiply 2 and negative 2, we're going to get negative 4. So the next ordered pair would be 2, negative 4. And then if we do one more point, best x would be 7. 7 plus 2 gives me another perfect square of 9. Its square root is 3. 3 times negative 2 is going to give me a negative 6. So the last ordered pair would be 7, negative 6, which would be right here. And because we had an A, this is when you should expect your graph to either be have a compression or a stretch. And if they ask us to identify the domain, we would say that X is greater than or equal to negative 2 for the domain. And if we're concerned with the range, we know the range is going to be Y is less than or equal to zero.